Lots are happening in the crypto and stock market. And while most people actually avoid buying, we are buying because we believe the markets are on sale. So don't miss this opportunity because we have a lot of exciting updates for you today that could potentially make you a lot of profits longer term. So let's dive into it. So the first piece of news I do want to share with you is that Bitcoin now dropped below 31,000 because one of the reasons is that Binance gets prohibited from operating in Belgium. Belgium said, no, thank you. We're not going to be here with you. And on top of that, SEC has now charged, as we know, Binance for several allegations that they are doing money laundering. They're not doing what they're supposed to be doing and they're breaking rule after rule. But now Binance is pushing back, saying that SEC has been misleading them as well. So even though they got closed down in Belgium, but as we can see on this piece of new here, they are now fighting back exactly like XRP are doing and saying that SEC, you have not given us the right rules to play after. So they're pushing back saying they haven't done anything wrong in that sense. So we'll see what that leads us. But what does this mean for you? Well, what this means for you is that we would have absolutely keep our money in wallets, as we keep saying, and off the exchanges. That's what this is all about. And the next piece of news, which I think is really big, and I'm going to get into one more at the end of this as well, but that is that JP Morgan rolls out the JP Morgan coin for blockchain payments in euro. So even though this is their digital currency and they're using this, see how they can improve the current financial system we have, what this would mean for you is that crypto is becoming more widely accepted or more accepted worldwide. And this gives us an opportun opportunity to get in now before everyone else gets in. That's what this is all about, which is why last week we did actually get into something that we like to say would be Ethereum. So we have some other updates for you today there as well. So before that, we can see that Bitcoin has really broken out, which is great to see. And we believe this is just a start for cryptos. And what's really triggered this, and we would actually say those of the market are in because BlackRock, among others, are actually giving out an ETF. An ETF, well, they're applying for it, that would give access to trillions of dollars that could then go in and invest into Bitcoin and cryptos. It's going to be Bitcoin to start with since it, it will be a Bitcoin ETF. So that's really, really exciting. And what this means for us is we can get in before this actually happens. So make sure you do your research and, uh, and invest accordingly. And we believe the next targets for Bitcoin would be up, you know, up towards 44,000, 45,000 if we now break out of here, which would be really cool. And the reason I say that is because that is the next region where we have resistance, 42,000, 44,000, somewhere around there before we get a pullback. So we entered uh, Ethereum last week and we actually, from the entry point, we were actually up roughly 10%, which is great. And now we're hovering around 8%. So for those of you who followed us and you followed us in the strategy, you would now be in a great profit. So well done if you did that. And just remember that if you have, you don't, you don't know what the calculator is maybe and you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you become an IM Insider and learn how you can make up to 9% per year with our dollar cost averaging strategy on steroids, which is what we call the PCA strategy. So make sure you use that. This is a strategy used by funds all across the globe and you can actually use a better version of that, our version of course. So you can go in here, download your very interactive calculator yourself and learn how we're doing this strategy, how we can be up 9% in one week. So you can do this too. So make sure you comment below. Did you get into this? Are you up 8% at the moment? We're waiting a bit more before we're getting in to, um, we're getting a, a stop loss in place to, uh, to lock in those profits as well. But today, because of what's happening in the world, I would like to talk about PAAS, that's PASS. This is a silver company. We know that, you know, they might raise interest rates more and we might go into a recession. So we want to hedge yourself. Crypto is one way. Silver and gold is another way. So silver will be the other one I want to get into here. This is, this is a Pan American Silver Corp. They have a, a whole load of, of uh, silver mines all across the globe. A really, really strong and good company. And from the high, this is currently down roughly 26%. So we're putting in the first entry at $14.66. So going in here, let's have a look at this. So we're going to rename this. This is what you will do in your own calculator as well, by the way. So pass. There we go. PCA. So the entry price that we entered at today would be 14 dollars 
point. And uh, next week, I will show you in eToro those positions as well. Because currently, I had some challenges with logging in. So we're solving that at the moment. But I'm going to show you that next week, how those these two are performing. So we're now putting $500. And as you know, we're doing that because that's a great amount to start with. Because you're actually going to generate some really good wealth if you do that. Over time, that's what this is all about which I will explain more about in the video. So currently we invested in June now $500, 40.66 is the price we entered and we're buying 34 shares. That is what that is all about. Remember what I said here that Bitcoin, we believe the bottom is in. We believe BlackRock is gonna shoot the market higher when that get approved. And we believe that that Bitcoin ETF from BlackRock, it's just a matter of time before that gets accepted and that will drive the market a lot higher. 